Welcome you to customer. Your application may not connect to YouTube server for some reason. You might want to find uh, the other tool to test your connection. In this video, we provide uh, seven different ways to connect to your server. Include Java client, Python client, .NET client, and ODBC client. So you can find a similar tool to simulate your application to test any kind of connection to YouTube server. So in this video, I will show you we have Java client. For the Java client, we have two different clients. One is called UOJ, one is called JDBC. The application is compiled by Java 1.8, so you must be have a Java environment on your environment to run this tool program. For the Python environment, based on Python 3x version, and you just run the installation for UO Py driver. Automatically, you can run this UO Connect Python program. For the Unidata or Universe latest version, we already come with the Python version. So you also can use particular Python version we deliver with the U2 installation. Also, this video will show you how it works U2 UO.NET client or U2 Toolkit client. For U2 Toolkit client, they have native connection or UCI mode connection. The last one will show you ODBC connection for 64 bit. In this video, YouTube video, in the description field, I also put the link so you can download the source code or you can just for end user, you might not have a Visual Studio to compile your .NET application, but you can install the program for test connection very easy. So first, I'd like to show you to run a UOJ application. Before you run UOJ application, make sure your Java is already installed on your system and set up the pass and class pass uh, is correct so you can run a uh, UOJ application. But this, this video, the link, you can download the program, sample program, have source code or compile code with driver. So if you have a driver, Basically, you can run the command on Windows environment. You can run this command like this. So for this program, because I already compiled it, so you can run it. I can connect to Unidata or Universe Server, Windows or Unix. Right now, I just, uh, for this program, a demo is a Unidata. So I can connect to Unidata using the uh, UDCS by default. You can change it. Uh, I connect to my local machine. So the username, password, and I connect to demo. You can connect to any kind of uh, account. So connect it. I because demo have a state file. If you connect to different account, it might be switched to other file. So you just read the uh, CO code. So I got the Corrado, the name back just for test connection. So definitely you can connect to universe also. The second one I'd like to show you is JDBC. So JDBC rely on two driver. One is called ahjob.zip file, another called unijdbc.jar file. So I can run this command on this folder because I already have this 
driver on this machine. So this time I choose the universe, so localhost, the administrator, user, password. So this time I connect to hs.sales. So I can change it or also show you the Java version of minor version and major version. So I'm using the state file in JDBC. So I just return the file records for this JDBC sample program. The demo three I will show you is a Python program. So this is the Python program. Is for the Python, uh, you can run in uh, the Python version to check. So this version I already a 3.7.0 version install on my machine. So if you've got a brand new machine, you don't have a UOPY driver on your environment, but you can run this command on Windows, Unix, even the Mac machine. So let's just how we install the UOPY. So it's very simple. Is because I already installed it. Otherwise, you just install the UOPY uh, driver on your uh, Python environment. So after I install it, then I just run P -O Python. Same thing, I can choose Unidata Universe. So this time I choose the Universe. I can connect to uh, another machine. It's the Universe, it's the Unix machine. I connect to hs.sales. And this time I connect to different user. So this server I just connect to Unix machine. I just uh, show the VOC file for select records. You got the verb, select queue, and that just content from the VOC file. So it would mean it's successful connect to your server. For the code, it's pretty simple. I uh, I already I will put the code in the description you can download it then i i just try to show you a very simple code so uh, for the python code so for the python code is here it just connect it for the uopy it first part it just uh, uh, get the username password and basically i just connect to your server Let's just connect to your server and read the VOC file and get the record, select record, and print out. So it's very simple, sample program to connect to your U2 server using the UOPY client. The demo four, I like to show you using called UO.net. So when you have Download the driver so you can uh, install it. So I can show you how you install it for this program called uh, you in the uh, when you got the zip file. So in the zip file, uh, when you unzip it, so you will see the UO.net. So they have program call a uh, uonet cmdvb so that's the program when you unzip the file from download link so you just run it so after running you can uh, run the program and also have a shortcut in the uh, rocket software on the program file so you can run the program from there or you can run the setup program to uh, to run the program. So inside the program, uh, pretty simple. 
So it's a very similar functionality like a UOJ, like a Python is the native. UOTANA is a very big old, uh, old driver. It's a native driver. So I can connect to, uh, for example, right here. So I can uh, put the password. So I can save it. So it run now, it's run connect to universe server. So you will see uh, my environment is try one one. So can switch very easy, disconnect and switch to the unit data side and connect to demo. And if you are run this way, I type in the version, I can show you my environment is run A to one. So basically this program is very useful for any environment for you to server to test connection to any machine you have. The next one will be using the U2 toolkit. So U2 toolkit driver is uh, I have uh, another program called U2 toolkit. So the U2 toolkit driver, I will show you uh, the U2 toolkit in the In this one, that's the folder I have. Same thing like a UO.net, you just install it. So after you install it, it's just like this. It's a very similar UO.net, just give you a latest driver using the U2 toolkit driver. For this one, a same thing is the native connection. So you can uh, connect to, uh, for, for this one I'd like to show you is a Unix. So you can see the Unix machine. So this one is connect successful. I can run the command. That's a different server. So it's install universe 11.3.2. So I, if I disconnect, switch unit data, I can connect to a different version. This machine, Unix machine is A2.2. So that's the very similar uh, using U2 uh, toolkit driver. This is the, the native connection. So next one, I'd like to show you the another driver. Uh, it's we call UCI connection. So for the UCI connection is a little bit different. So same thing when you download the assemble code from the link, download link. So I install it. The UCI connection is the come with the U2 toolkit. So for this, you will see the server process will be different. So this one, this time is called UV server. So I can connect to Universe. So this time for UCI connection is the SQL statement. So I can run the uh, Universe SQL statement from the UCI connection. Right now it's connect to state. So if I switch to unit data, I can show you it's run the SQL statement. It's just the uh, similar, the output, so ID and name. So it's the SQL statement. So UCI connection is just like a very similar, like an ODBC application. Because it's a SQL statement, the code is a little bit different like a native. So inside the code, you need to specify uh, what the field name. So for this demo, you connect to unit data uh, using a uh, try to get the field name is ID and name. So if you have other table, then you need to uh, change the code to other field name. The last one I will show you is ODBC. So ODBC right now I only show you it's the 64 bit. If you using the 32 bit, you need to get the source code and compile it. All my program compile it's the uh, visual 
Visual Studio 2017. You can use a little bit older, like a 25, 2015, or later 2019 to compile it and using the 32-bit mode. So for example, you download the draw uh, tool from the download link, you got this, then you just run it. So here is ODBC. So this program is 64 bit. So automatic to looking for your user DSN and system DN and include unit data or universe. So right now I just show you is a universe. So right now, for example, I connect to universe. That's the assistant DSN. It's the connect to my no code machine. So I have to connect. So I can run the statement. So that is the uh, using the select star from state. If you use an other field, uh, some field may not show up. You might be need to uh, modify this program to to fit your environment for testing. But for the connection part, definitely it's fine. So you can download the source code or install code, installation software, so to connect to your machine without any uh, compilation. So hopefully you can start to use a YouTube client to work with the your YouTube server.